Ms. Gazan, seconded by Mr. Blakey, moves for leave to introduce a bill entitled An Act to Develop a National Framework for Gu Guaranteed Livable Basic Income. This motion is deemed adopted. The Honourable Member for Winnipeg Centre. Mr. Speaker, it is my honour to introduce the National Framework for a Guaranteed Livable Basic Income Act. I would... <laughs> I would like to start out by thanking the Member of Parliament for Elmwood Transcona for seconding my bill, my riding of Winnipeg Centre, Basic Income Canada Network, Basic Income Manitoba, Coalition Canada, Basic Income Canada Youth Network, Senator Kim Pate, former Senator Hugh Siegel, and so many other anti-poverty activists across this country who contributed to the development of this bill. As we continue to find ways to make it through the pandemic, we know that those who were already left behind are even further behind. Mr. Speaker, this bill is in response to calls to implement a guaranteed livable basic income from Indigenous, territorial, provincial and municipal jurisdictions who clearly recognize the need to modernize our social safety net. A JLBI is not a panacea, but a way forward to modernize our social safety net in addition to current and future government programs and supports. It will ensure that all people have the necessary supports and resources to live in with dignity, security, respect and human rights as affirmed in the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. I'd once again like to thank my constituents and the basic income movement for your support. This is a people's movement. Yeah. Yeah. Ms. Gazan, seconded by Mr. Blakey, moves that the bill be now read a first time and be printed. This motion is deemed adopted.